And could you tell me when the councillors will be receiving this? Uh, this will go on Friday. It will only go on to them on Friday. So can they pick it up earlier if they want to? Um, if you'd like us to, yeah. and send them an email, let them know. That would be wonderful if you and wouldn't mind. Yeah, let them know where the link is. Yeah, so and, and maybe they'll have seen it in the newspaper already, but it's really important for them to take a look at this because I know that they're going to be doing a lot of reading over the weekend. Sorry. So this, this should make it easier for them. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So presenting a report that we wrote. Um, it's taken a long time to, to go through the 500 page uh, plan and we found a lot of uh, things in, in the plan that just don't make sense to us. There's a lot of flawed data, there's a lot of missing data which would probably be a surprise to people um, considering that it's such a, such a big report and um, I'd like to just mention that my background is in accounting. I uh, used to be a financial analyst and so going through numbers like this is, is very interesting to me. Um, and I do realize that, that for a lot of people it's quite daunting to go through a 500 page report. Uh, so, so what we've tried to do is to make this engaging to everybody. So we've put lots of, lots of layman's language in there and we've added lots of pictures and graphs and, and we believe that this would, will show people just why this is such a flawed report and why we think that it needs a rethink. We need to go back to the drawing board we all want a new hospital, we all want hospital investment, but doing it this way is not the right way for our future. Why are some of the reasons why you think it's flawed? Well, if you go through the demographics of the report, it shows, first of all, that our population is only going to grow by about 3.5% three, three in the next uh, 12 years or so, and then it's going to peter out. And in the report, it says that our population might very well decline after that because of the aging. So one of the flaws is that it does. That's the extent of the um, the discussion on aging in the report. But what it also says is that we're going to be creating 21,000 jobs. And if you go through to what the Ministry of Finance is saying about our population, they're looking at actually a decline in our working age population. So it doesn't make sense that we're going to be creating 20,000 jobs if if our working age population is actually in in active decline. What city. happens if uh, uh, during the council meeting this doesn't go your way? Are you going to continue the fight? Do you have an alternative plan if this doesn't go your way? Well, we believe that this is wrong. What, what's being presented here is so contrary to Ontario planning policy and Windsor's official plan. And the report that we've written identifies exactly where we think that it's it's wrong. So we've indicated right from the start that we're going to appeal this if it doesn't... If it doesn't well, the OMB doesn't exist anymore. It's now the LPAT. But yeah, we've, we've already taken steps. To, we're, we're prepared for that. And I should add to that, I think it's grossly unfair to Windsor residents and taxpayers that, that, that there is this, this um, expectation that it's going to pass because this is a public process. And we sh we, it's, it's our councillor's responsibility to uphold the policies that, that underpin this, this you know, the, the, the Windsor's policies. And so for us to be expecting to appeal this, I think is, is just a, it's a subversion of due process.